yesterday afternoon. She's off her food. She's been shaking and trying to hide. And just now a bit of fluid came out the back end. So I think we're getting close. Helen's in work, so I'm on my own. So if I'm a bit slow on replying to comments, that is why. I'm going to try and set up a tripod now. Uh, oops. Hi Tammy. Yeah, I'm on my own. Um, and I started the live before I'd set up the tripod, so apologies for the shaky filming. Well, I try and position the tripod. So um, yeah, she, I gotta move the printer. The temperature went back down yesterday. Um, this is not gonna be good. Gotta move the printer. I was hoping I could just shove it up like back on itself, but I can't. This is way I should be more organised. And I never am. It's kind of giving you enough of an angle. Um, yeah, so temperature went back down yesterday. She's been restless all morning and then a bit of fluid just came out um, of her back end. Um, and I set up the live stream on my laptop so I can see some comments. Are you gonna have booty for babies, are you? Yeah. You can get down to some pushing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, darling. Right. I know. I know, baby. May I have a look? Oh, you're gonna have booty for babies. You're gonna have booty for babies. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. Um, so I think I'm going to go and evict 
some of the dogs, just so it's a bit calmer and quieter in here. So I shall be back. Aria. Come on. We managed to evict everyone, and we are Yeah. We've evicted everyone. Just us two, Isn't it, sweetheart. Yeah. Just us two. Babies, whenever you like, we're completely ready for them, Aria. We are. You pretty. I'll try and angle this a bit better. Trouble is. I don't know if there is better as long as as the other dogs don't come and disturb it. Is that better? Ha <laughs> got him fed. To be fair, we haven't had a puppy yet, so you're gonna see some of them born. Sweet pea, yeah. Gonna see some of them born. The very least. Yeah, you good girl. You good girl. So many babies, does everyone think? <laughs> like a bit of fluid came out like I don't know five ten minutes ago after quite intense sort of digging and nesting so thinking we're not gonna be 
far off. Uh, champion soft spot gold dust is the dad. Ah, oh, that's no problem. I do enjoy doing live streams. Um, you know, it's it's a stressful time and day, whether we're live streaming or not. Um, so, yeah, I think it really um, completes the experience for people. Um, you know who are on this list and stuff or who may be on a future list and maybe they're watching the mum or the dad of their puppy being born yeah that's it that's champion soft spot gold as junior warren he was best breed at crafts 2019 he's called nugget and he is just the sweetest boy he's lush Uh, they probably are. You see a difference in like the American type and the European type as well. And I think personally, there's pros and cons, faults and strengths in the all. Phoebe, shut up. Phoebe's having a meltdown because I've shut them all out. Should I get Nala in? Because Nala's a calming influence. Actually, Phoebe without Lanny and Pumpkin and Raven is quite calm too. What is all the noise about? <laughs> oh shit, calm. Right, pumps, I really don't need you jumping up and giving me kisses. Oh. Pumpkin, naughty. <laughs> yeah, she's coped with pregnancy really, really well. Um, you know, she's happy to walk really far. In no, 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 no. You're having your babies in here, baby. We're not having babies anywhere other than the welcoming box, okay? Um, yeah, so she has coped really well with pregnancy, um, happy to walk, um, very, very cuddly, but she is, she's quite cuddly anyway. <laughs> so that crying is Phoebe. And part of me, like, as a dog trainer or wanting you know not i'm not a professional dog trainer but for the point of view of training my own dog i want to leave her there and let her self-soothe and not get rewarded for crying and then the other part of me finds it really annoying and i know she'll shut up if she's in here you're gonna sit down and have babies are we gonna have pretty babies yeah does anybody watch the Big Bang Theory? 
if they do anyway leonard says um our babies when he sees penny are smart and beautiful or gonna be smart and beautiful and i'm like yeah aria that's for you that's you yeah Cool that so many members of Team Hardware are watching too. And it's always quite a decision of when to go live as well. Because, you know, it could go live and we could still be hours away. Or it could be like, mad panic puppies on the way and i don't get time to put the live on so i figured like a little bit early i love the big bang theory but yeah when leonard says our oh, babies would be smart and beautiful i think that about our your nugget babies Been attention seeking pumpkin. You can't see pumpkin. But she's found a toy and she's chewing it right by me and just casually putting a paw on me. Just to be like, you know, pay attention to me. You know, I'm still the star of the show because I'm pumpkin. <laughs> oh, bless her. Yeah, we could still be a bit of time. But just before I came on the live, we had like some quite intense nesting and a bit of fluid sort of squirting out. So I'm thinking we're getting there. And a baby girl. Yeah, I'm a good baby girl. Yeah, you're a good baby, are you? Yeah. Yeah. So I hope your night shift was okay anyway. I feel like I've been on night shifts. Um, because I've slept downstairs the last three nights. And then it's like you're sleeping with one eye half open just in case she starts. What are the two names? Winter fits well, but I always think you've got to imagine shouting it. So can you shout winter, fellow winter, fellow Jupiter across the field and not sound ridiculous for one? And then how would you shorten it? Because <coughs> you always end up shortening the names in one way or another. Yeah, I prefer Winter to Jupiter too. But yeah, make sure it's a shoutable name. Phoebes, shut up! Winnie, yeah, Winnie. Or they could be Aria, who hasn't got a shortened name, but we go. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> you silly sausage. Is you a silly sausage? <laughs> I just, yeah, she is the luscious girl. To be fair, I say that about all of them. And I'm kind of aware I say that about all of them. But she really is. I think she's contracting a bit she's quite restless and wants to hide you gotta have your babies in here sweetheart you can have your babies in here you can have your beautiful babies 
yeah she's lit and I feel like quite a lot of the time she maybe gets overshadowed by pod because they litter mates and pod just is so cool and does everything I feel like you know your brother he gets in the way sometimes doesn't he yeah you do need to have your babies in here though darling oh god he might start howling now I think double figures, Louise has been teasing me that Aria might beat her record and Louise's record is 18 puppies and I'm like, no way, no way, we're not. I was like, we're going to have to work on our returns policy if we have 18, aren't we, Aria? We're going to have to work on the returns policy. Um, yeah, I think double figures. Yeah, you can hear a lot of movement in the other room. Yeah, no, we're not having 18. I've already decided, haven't we, Aria? And we've already decided that you're going to be bossy with your babies and tell them off a little bit more than Judith did so that your babies are better behaved. <laughs> um, yeah, it got to be fair. And as as biased as I am I think she's the prettiest Dalmatian I've ever seen and I firmly firmly stand by that I am biased because she's mine I bred her I bred her dad I haven't seen pretty little liars we'll have to watch it is that gonna be our binge watch while you've got puppies are you I've saved the house of dragon as binge watching while we got puppies too. I know, I think these contractions are getting a bit more intense, aren't they, sweetheart? <coughs> Phoebe, shut up! I know, darling. I know, stay in here. on your blanket to nest in again. No, you won't. You want a nested blanket? Yeah, that's another one on my binge watch. Oh, funnily enough, this blanket, I got it for Nala when she was having her litter because it's the only blanket I've ever seen with Nala on it, the character Nala. Hmm. Well, that is meant to stop the others annoying you looking in. That's the plan of that blanket. Um, probably not, but I have already kind of thought that when she does shut up, I'll probably let her in so she doesn't annoy me the whole time. Pumpkin, don't you dare touch that. The heat lamp is right behind my phone on the arm of the sofa. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Good girl. 
you a good girl. Thank you a good girl. I know you've got to stay in here though, baby. You you have. You can't come out. You can't come out. Yeah, pumpkin is just naughty. Wait, where is that, Phoebe? Phoebe, you're a cat. Come here. See, nothing exciting is happening in here, and you've been ground up for just looking at that. You are. Yeah, so see that wooden thing just there. Um, she was hiding under there earlier. And we are definitely not having babies under there. Okay? That's not the plan. Right, Phoebe's go lie down then because you're annoying her. Yeah, the litter theme is Game of Thrones. So we'll have like Harv Werner, the Night's Watch, Harv Werner, King of the North, that sort of thing is the plan. Right, I didn't let you two in to play. Oh, and if she does have a puppy before Helen comes, will someone send her a message to tell her? <laughs> Thank you. She knows that, like, Things are moving forward, moving on, but um, yeah. Stop wrestling. No, Phoebe, naughty. No, pumpkin, naughty. To be fair, though, Finn, like, I don't know what your working hours are, but like this could still take some time. So don't panic too much. Stop wrestling, pumpkin pie. Well, I mean, if your boss is happy enough for you to keep it on in the background, you'll see. And, like, I always save these as well, so you can watch it back if you miss anything.
<laughs> oh god yeah it's only well 20 to 11 here in the uk Isn't it funny she wanted a blanket to settle on as well? There's a fair bit of movement going on in this little section just now. You've got a couple of babies sitting there kicking you. Look how big this belly is, Aria. Look how big it is. Oh, darling, she's just so big. She's just so big, big, big girl. Yeah. Should turn the other light on as well for better. And the quality video. Right, stop it, you pair. They so naughty, aren't they, Aria? Yeah. <laughs> when are the babies gonna come then? When are they coming? When are they coming? Well, it was spent quite restless, trying to find somewhere to go, trying to find somewhere to hide, um, and then a bit, a little bit of shaking as well, so. Suspicious noises come in from next door. I should be back. Do I want to know what you guys are doing? Yeah, having a dog like Lannister, a puppy like Lannister, it's a lot of him picking up things he shouldn't. Um, he likes to, I got like dog shelves out in the other room and it's like got some of the dog blankets, their coats and stuff. And he likes to pull things off the shelf and chew them. I don't know whether to bring him in here. Where it's easier to keep an eye on him. Mm. 
No. Might have to, because he's a pest. I mean, he's a pest. You were naughty. You were naughty. Yes. Shift. No pumpkin. No pumpkin. No. Come on. Come on, Cyber Phoebe. Sometimes it's just easier to do it that way. She's naughty. Are you a good girl though? No, Dudley being a spoiled brat because. He's not in here with us, so he's barking. It barely looks enormous from that angle, doesn't it? No, Phoebes, you've just been out.
Guess who's making the dramatic noises? Yeah, she is my girl, like... Yeah, good guess, Tammy. How did you guess? <laughs> Aria's always been my girl. She's always been my baby. I've honestly never had a dog like Pumpkin. So clever, so quirky. And if you've not got anything to keep that brain of hers occupied she finds her own things to do um but when i get a bit of time i think i'm going to train her in some scent work because she seems to have a real knack for it that's my plan anyway oh yeah character is a good word for her um thank god there's only one of her like, she's so sweet. And everything. Yeah, she's a bit too sweet with you, Finn. She's just like, oh my God, it's my friend. And then goes nuts. Um, but yeah, like the story about her with the dog shampoo. So upstairs, there's three different varieties of dog shampoo. And then, you know, various human shampoos, conditioners, shower gels, all the rest of it. All on the shelf by the bath. She'd picked out the three bottles of dog shampoo. Bear in mind, she'd only been bathed with one of those shampoos. So it's not like she recognised the scent because she'd been bathed in them. And then she hid each bottle in a different place upstairs. And she didn't disturb the human shampoos, conditioners, shower gels at all. They were still stood up, right? She didn't knock a single one over, move them around. How the hell did she know which ones were dog shampoos? Too clever you are. New champs. Yeah. You need a bit of brain work, don't you, sweetheart? And I've never had one that really doesn't give a damn about being in trouble. Like, really doesn't bother her. Yeah, so when Pumpkin's in trouble, doesn't bother her because she's like, oh, it's okay, I know my mummy loves me. And it's like, yeah, but Pumpkin, you know what you shouldn't do. She's like, it's okay, you love me, I, I am fine. Don't bother her. My sweetheart, you naughty pie. Are you a naughty pie? Yeah, you naughty pie. You naughty pie. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like Raven's, so, and then Raven is the opposite end of the spectrum for being in trouble. You could be shouting at another dog, and Raven acts like you're shouting at her. And looks like, yeah, it's funny. Just the difference. Nala ignores everyone except for me if she's in trouble. Yeah. 
Lannister, what the hell have you got now? Right, that's not for you. You're not going anywhere, are you? I'm definitely not going anywhere today. Am I? It's all about you and your sweet babies. There's one, it's quite lumpy over there. Right, pumpkin. Pumpkin. I'm jealous, pumpkin guess. Yeah, girls generally do. Boys are easily distracted. Yeah, Nugget's lush, isn't he? He is a sweet heart. Got a lump there too. The one by there. When are they coming? Why did you have a bit a load of fluid come out? And then no babies. Look at that, it's like flat there and then there's a big bulge. Puppies, they all move in to go there. I honestly don't have one, I think it's gonna be No, Lannister. Lannister. Lanny. Oh, Lanny. He's so naughty. Um, I'm going to go for a baker's dozen. It's my guess. If she had more, it wouldn't shock me. Oh. Oh, I got the best toy. I hope there's not eight in there because they'd be enormous. Honestly, like any guess in double figures, I think, like, I think we'll be close. not yours. Pens are not for Lanny's. If 
you watch the two spots, this area, one just kicked in this area. When you think though, Disney was huge for her first litter. She had 14, the one did die when he was about two days old, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised, like with litter of 13, it was never ending rotating puppies. Disney in all fairness, she'd just lay there constantly, like I just didn't move, just let them sort themselves out. But it's like Jude would have been better having the 13 because she kept licking them. And for them to get any rest, they had to go away from her. So they naturally rotated because Jude was washing them so much. So that was quite good. So like Jude would have been good having a big litter. Hi, Suzanne. So cool, so many Team Hardware and members are here. Yeah, that was, Jude's was quite like full on, wasn't it as well? Um, I can't remember what order Isla was born in. Was she first? I think she would be quieter than Jude. Like Jude cried a little bit and, you know, was quite dramatic about it. Oh, I think Lani wants to go out. You want to go out, buddy? All right, I'm not going far. I'm not going far. No, I never do so. I never do you. So. I wouldn't. Yeah. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. When are these babies coming, hey? When are these babies coming? When are these babies coming?
Why are you out of your welcome box, madam? Aria, come on. you got to have him in here, bit. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, she'll join me later. She's in work at the minute. Um, hey, banana. Are you going to be Nanny Nala? Are you going to be Nanny Nala? Pumpkin, they're not yours. You were naughty. Be no, you're not having Harry Rose. None of you.
No pumpkin. weird like covering sort of schedule where she got covered on a Sunday then refused him until the following Thursday um, and then did Thursday through till Sunday so I don't really know we're potentially well anyway in that time I don't know
Ah, oh, thank you. I think we still got a bit of time. Till it really starts kicking off, but hopefully not too long. Yeah, cheese. It's quite good to give them um, some calcium. Some water. Water. No. Okay. Yeah, well, what had happened was one of the litters last year killed the lead on the previous one. And then my spare one didn't have, like, two heat sources. So what I like is to have a low or a high setting. Um, so my spare one hasn't got that option, so I needed a new one. So I had the option. Oh no. Lanny, careful. Ah, ah. Lannister. <laughs> to be fair it's generally Lani he wants everything that he shouldn't he thinks that he has the right to everything that he shouldn't have like he'll jump on the table and nick things off the table not food like things he thinks he can chew up and that are toys um
Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'll grow out with her. Um, you know, he loves toys and stuff, so it's just about him really learning what's a toy and what's not. Yeah, if he just collected them, it wouldn't be so bad, but he does chew them as well. Um... She doesn't, but I don't know if she doesn't because I'm kind of hidden them all away so she can't get to them. Um, she still does the thing out on walks where she has finds a random object, carries it and then rehides it somewhere else and on the next walk past that place she repeats and picks it up and takes it somewhere else. I, I don't know where that's coming from, that's really random in it, to be fair. Phoebe, no, you're in and out like a freaking yo yo. Oh no, I hope everything's okay, Tammy. Well, things seem to have, seem to not be moving very quickly at the minute, so don't worry too much.
Lonnie. Hey. your babies. Yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 Nala, she doesn't want to be disturbed. Duck on your face. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can have these babies so you can just settle down and start having them. You feel a lot better. Yeah. 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 You feel a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they are the best dogs to have, aren't they? Have you ever owned a Dalmatian before?
Oh, thank you, Alyssa. Yeah, that's, that is a big driver behind doing the social media like we do. It's like to be as transparent as possible and people to see the mother, occasionally the father of the puppies and to really get a sense of them, to know or have an idea of what a puppy would be like from them and you know to know that they're treated right they live a lovely life like a normal dog and then you know have a litter um and then to follow the puppies from day one um with the videos and stuff i don't think anybody else does that with dalmatians at least um I don't know many people of other breeds that do it to be fair. Um, so yes. Yeah, it's, I prefer it that way. No, nothing. She's having a sleep, so hopefully she's having a rest and then we'll get going. She'll wake up and get going. Oh, thank you yeah like it's what I like I do enjoy the sharing with potential puppy owners but as well sharing with everyone else what it's like living with a pack of dogs living with Dalmatians um, you know and I know there's people that really want a Dalmatian but circumstances aren't right and they sort of live on it live through owning a Dalmatian via the channel, which is quite cool as well. You only really kind of want to wake her up and like be, come on, get move on, get shift on. It obviously won't because it'll never work even if I did, but you kind of want to be like, come on. Start having them. Yeah, and that was like a big thing with Helen and I that that's what we wanted to do and that's what we wanted to be as breeders. Um, you know, that we are there for the life of the dog, we are there for the owners and for the puppy and, you know, I even um, tracked down some of Pod's puppies and offered the same to them and I didn't even breed those ones. Um, and that is what we want to do, and like, you know, Helen with uh, Dottie, Dottie nearly died. Um, and she had like a hefty, hefty vet spill, like just a few days after she'd had Dottie home as a puppy. 
and um breeder i think sent her one message when she was first ill and that was it and the puppy was you know it only just left there as well and we were like we do not want to be that breeder I mean, we couldn't be anyway, because, like, to be fair, just love the dogs too much, love the puppies too much. We invest far too much time into them to then be like, right, off to your new homes, forget about you. Um, you know, I was on, we were messaging um, Lisa with Harley last night, because Harley's being spayed, and she just wanted a bit of advice on what to do. Um, while Harley's not allowed to go on normal walks. But, you know, it was like, nice that we're in the loop of what's happening, as in she's being spayed and, you know, we had some good advice for her on keeping her occupied. That big yawn was pod, guarantee it. Yeah, and like, you know, like everything, there's some puppies we hear more about than others. Um, there's some owners that are real, um, you know, good at keeping social media and Instagram accounts for the dogs really up to date, which is lovely. Um, and then there are owners that, you know, aren't like that on social media, but we're still in touch with them. They still know we're here. I think that's the important thing, they just know we're here. Like, don't need to be in contact all the time, but they know if they need us, we're there. And for anyone who does eventually come to visit the litter, don't wear nice clothes, don't wear light colours, because I can guarantee you Pumpkin will jump up and give you a kiss. Um, and you get muddy paw prints everywhere. Wouldn't shock me if Raven jumps up as well because she just thinks she needs to copy whatever Pumpkin does. Um, yeah, you'll get covered in white hairs, covered in muddy paw prints, um, and thoroughly well greeted by Dalmatians. As well as don't wear laces with a litter of puppies, because puppies love laces. See her cheeks puffing. Stop now, it's that idea. Hopefully this is the good sleep she's gonna have before getting going with these puppies. Yeah, in proper Dalmatian heaven, anyway. Oh, are you waking up and going to do something?
Gonna happen soon, baby. Are we gonna see your baby soon? That is just solid. Hey, baby. Oh.
If they're contractions that I can feel or little pushes, I don't know. I hope so. It's like breathing and then really closing your fist. Sort of feeling like it's quite weird. fluid coming out that was on i know i know i'm naughty i know i know you're a good girl you're a good girl yeah are you gonna come soon <laughs> Hey girly, are you okay? Oh dear, did you just burst? That's a bit gross. That's a bit gross. You good girl? blanket as a pillow. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think the contractions are sort of coming a bit quicker now. See, it's like changing her breathing. Mm. 
And she is lying down with her eyes open as well. So she's not asleep then, she's just... Chest. A good girl. A good girl. Have them soon. Are you gonna have them soon? Really comfy like that, are you? Are you? Are you really comfy like that? Are you, sweetie? Are you, sweetie? Hi Carly.
Uh, <laughs> nice you've come back. Where have you been? Yeah, you are a bit late to the party. I think I came on way too early, but hey-ho. I bet Finn. Well, she's had some stronger contractions, but kind of going back to sleep a little bit then. See how swollen and puffy her back end is gone. <laughs> yeah, I probably could do it going and taking the other dogs out for a wee, so um I shall be back. Oh, the dad of the pups is champion soft spot gold dust. Hey guys, do you want to come? Babes, Nala. Lani, you coming? Don't be long.
Yeah, Phoebe's stupid. She knocked the water bowl over. Oh, do you have these, Phoebe? They're meant to be graceful and elegant. Not clumsy. Well, then, come on, come. Aria. Aria. Girl. Who had the cheese? 
I missed that, obviously. But it was you. Oh, Nala's so naughty, isn't she? She's so bad. Aria, you ain't having them on the chair. And how calm and casual was she? The whole time I was in and out, not to do it. And then when I went out with Aria, she knew I wasn't coming back. You a bad dog. She was a bad dog. Aria, come on. Aria. Aria, you were not having them on the chair. Aria. Come on, Aria! Ah, oh, Aria! Aria, come on! Oh, you're gonna jump in as well, yeah? Aria, come this way, it's easier. Aria! Aria, no! <gasps> She's so bad! You are not having them on the chair. Aria! Not, not leave her being now. Aria, come on, you're not having them on the chair. Down. Aria, come on, off. I'm not good girl. Come here. Aria, come here. I'll come and sit in here with you for five, is it? Is that what you want? Yeah. You can sit with you for five. Yeah. You're gonna have beautiful babies? Hey, yo. Okay. Nala, you was caught red-handed on camera. Unbelievable when it comes to food, Nala is. No, dude, you're not coming in. I'm gonna hurry up and have these babies. Thank you. Oh, are they gonna be pretty little? Judith! Jealous, Jude. Jude, she's gonna growl at you if you come in. I've got my dummy boobies. I've got my dummy. I've got my dummy. Guess who's naughty little brown nose that is occasionally appearing on camera. Guess who? They get so jealous. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> You're a stupid lamb. You're going to have your head dripped off. Yeah, and just the little, like, two minutes she was out to go for a wee. She was pamped in when she was moved in. Mm. Pumps don't. It's just not worth it, pumpkin. It's not. You're a bad dog. You were the baddest. You are. You were the baddest. Yes, no pumpkin. Look how cautiously. Oh, you were so bad. You were so bad. 
You are. You are. You're so naughty. You are very naughty. Very naughty. Can I go back to my laptop to see the comments? Am I allowed? Am I allowed? You were so bad, Vampimba. Poor Aria. You better not get in the habit of coming in here, pups. Because when there's puppies, you might get your head ripped off. And you don't want that. Mm -hmm. oh. The guests are jealous if someone else is having a lot of fuss. Hi, Aria. Hey. Lannister, no. Lanny, uh, Lannister, you are naughty, good boy. Ah, that's it. Ah, that's a good boy. Yeah, a new collar suits her, doesn't it? It's the same uh, make and type as Aria's. Not the laptop, Lanny. Um, but obviously a different colour. I have to watch this live back to watch Nala thieving. Oh yeah, and that is Nala with food. She is really clever, really bad. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go do this. This again, do. Anything happening? No, 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 no. Oh yeah. Oh, Lanny! I had one of my crocs. Lannister! Depends on contractions again, you girl. I can sort of tell because she gets a bit, doesn't want to stay in the box and stuff, doesn't she? When they're getting bad. No, 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 you're staying in here, baby girl. No, no, you're staying in here. Oh, God. Why are you all such softies? Hey, all such softies. Yeah.
you want to see Nala's face now because she knows she's done something. She's over by the fire with her Dobby the house self guilty look. Just watching me. And I got, you know, the opportunity missed by a long shot for me to tell her. But she does know. She knows she shouldn't pinch. I know. It's getting bardy again, is it, are you? Is it good? She's getting contractions. Yeah, that's something that all Dalmatian owners do need to learn as well, is when it comes to food, there are no limits to how clever and how inventive they'll be, how patient they are. So she's getting a little bit shaky as well. Good girl. Just settle down and start having it and we'll be good. I know, good girl. Good girl. She's got a really worried look on her face. And they get like eyebrows and a bit of white showing. Lannister, no! Lanny! Ah. Why are you so blooming naughty? No, not my laptop either. Why are you naughty? You are a little booger. You're a little booger. Oh, you're a little booger. Yeah. 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 I'm the little booger. I'm the little booger. No, Lanny. No. No. Good boy. Yeah, he's still learning. Table, things on the table are off limits to dogs. We're not doing very well on that lesson yet, we buddy. Oh, wee buddy. Yeah. You're such a softy. You're such a softy. You wanna lie down and start popping babies out? Pop them out like tic tacs. Pop them out like tic tacs. to jump on the sofa but not just jump on the sofa jump over phoebe was on the sofa because he knows jude would turn him off and he kind of just landed on top of her 
and now they're wrestling. All right, pumpkin. Why? Why is your paw on there? Why? Why is that paw on there, pumpkin? That that paw. It shouldn't be on there. No, that that one definitely shouldn't be. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? There is only one of you. Why are you crying? She's in labour, you ain't. Anybody want a pumpkin? Anybody want a pumpkin? Mine's broken. You're good though, aren't you, Judith? You're still in disgrace, bad dog. With your naughty behaviour. We live in a mad house, don't we, baby girl? Okay. I just think once you pop them out like Tic Tacs, you can be a mad dog in the forestry again. Yeah. Because that's your favourite thing, isn't it? Running like a banshee in the forestry. It's your favourite thing. I think you might need to get a bit fitter first, though. trouble with having such a young pack. Look how much her belly's poking out of there. Is it, is it getting a bit more intense now as a baby girl? Anytime you like, because we need to see your babies. And your cousin Pumpkin. Your cousin Pumpkin is really naughty. Here she is. Aria, you are not coming out. You're not coming out via me. Another cuddle. You're not coming out. Good girl. I trust pumpkin to go out without supervision, probably not. No, you are three of you. Two max. Pumpkin, not that way. today. <laughs> you were the 
naughtiest dog ever, Pumpkin. No, Lannister. Get in, are you bored? Do you want to go do swimming? But tough. Yeah, she does. I'm sure she's extremely proud of her naughty behaviour. Arya, no. No, you've got to stay in here, baby. You can't run away from it. You can't hide from it. Okay, just calm down. Here you go. Your mummy Nala's here. Even though she's in disgrace. We're in disgrace, banana. Now, oh, these dogs. I'm still watching you. Good girl, Arya. You can have some babies now. Is it time to have babies? I think so. I think so. Gonna be a good girl or gonna be a good mama? Oh, good be good, Mama. No, no, we're not jumping out, though, okay? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, who's a good girl? Are you a good girl? Yeah, I know. His body is hurt. Does it hurt? I know. I don't know if it's another babies, but I do know. I know. I know. I know. You start pushing, we'd be good then. Just pop them out. Pop them out. And then. Um, you can have pumpkins raw. Do you want pumpkins raw? Yeah, she can starve. She's naughty today. Yeah, she's naughty today. Yes. Hello, Judith. Hello, Judy. Oh, look at the smiles, Judy, Judy. Judy, you got a big booty. So just a Judy. I think everything's getting a bit more intense because she's just panted a little bit. But Arya and Nala aren't big panters. Like, 
You get some ducks and like they barely walk out of the house and they're panting. Aria isn't like that. So any sort of panting, you kind of know it's bad. Well, not bad, but things are happening. Right, Jude, I can't reach my laptop because you are in the way. You are in the way, Judith. Yeah. Oh, that sounds perfect. Well, i got to wait for Helen to come and we're having dominoes. Because that's our tradition on uh, Labour Days. No. Oh, Judith. Oh, you were a tart. You were a tart. Manny, you can have more babies, Jude. Are you having babies? She's not even in season yet, guys, so don't don't panic. Are you gonna have babies? Are they gonna be are they gonna be better behaved than your last ones? Cause I might still wanna return one of those ones. Oh dear Brum Brum. Gonna return your baby because there's naughty. Can't do anything with it. Jude, Judith, nanny number two's coming. She's gonna come and see you, and she's gonna she's gonna tell you off for chest bumping. Says I might not. I might not be that excited to see her. We know we will be though, don't we? I normally have the meteor. Um, I love barbecue sauce. Um, Helen, she doesn't. She usually goes for like a chicken like option. Like maybe the barbecue ranch chicken or something like that. Or she just has plain um, cheese. And I'm like, oh my God, you were so boring, plain Jane. And take the mick out of her. So then she feels obliged to pick a flavour. Um, the potato mm. wedges from Domino's are really good too. Um, but we either have those or we have the garlic pizza bread because that's really good. And then we have, usually have cookies. No, you're not coming out. You've got to stay in on that babies, okay? I know his body and I know you're panting. I know, I know. Getting more intense now in a baby girl. Yeah. But we're here. Everybody's here. Everybody's here for you. Everybody's here for you. So what about you guys with dominoes? Oh, I haven't had the twisted dough balls. Yeah, I like those too. What I find is like, there's so much good stuff that you kind of either need tiny portions of everything or you just have to like choose per time you go there and think, right, if I have this this time, I'll have that next time. Mm. I know, are you? I know. Me and Jude are here for you. Mm. 
I know. No oh, good girl. And just lay down and have them. We'll be happy. We get to see your babies then. We get to see if they're going to be smart and beautiful. I always find like when you're choosing a pizza from Domino's, like choose something a bit different that isn't like an off the shelf one from a supermarket. I know it's tastier than the off the shelf ones anyway, but I feel like make the most of the opportunity. <laughs> That's okay. I just blame autocorrect the best way. Yeah, well, especially if you're gonna like just get a cheese pizza. I'm like, why are you going to Domino's and spending like 10, 15 quid on a pizza that's just got cheese on it? It's just like, what is the point? <laughs> yeah, so get just a good tip. Jude later. Oh, hi, Nikki. Oh, I know. She's so bad, isn't she? My fault. I forgot it was there, to be fair, but oh. she didn't miss the opportunity, though, did she? You were so naughty. I'm going to settle down again. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Like, Nala's never really in much trouble, ever in trouble with me, to be fair. She should be, like, on that occasion, but I'd so missed the opportunity. No, 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 Aria, stay in. Stay in. I know. That's probably so. Right, Phoebe wants to come in. They just tap on the door when they want to come in. Phoebe's come on. wagging your tail and not having babies. So you need to have your babies. <laughs> yeah, Pumpkin is, um, she's a character, is Pumpkin Pie. Lannister! Done. Good boy. 
yeah she's just so naughty but she's so loving and sweet as well that it's really hard <coughs> to be firm with her that's her telling Lammy off because she's now wanting to sleep Lanny, no. Lanny. Ah, ah. Oh, good girl, Aria. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Go take your blanket. Oh. Luckily mine aren't big diggers, they'll have a tiny go and then I just tell them off and they stop. Um, because, like, up here with horses and stuff, it'd be quite dangerous if they, like, dug holes in the horse's field. Because the horses could run and sort of trip in one and hurt themselves. But, um, yeah. I find they always have some sort of go-to naughty behaviour. You know these babies then? You're having them in there though, okay? Nowhere else. Not allowed to have them anywhere other than your helping box. Because there's a posh one from Italy. This box, yeah. Yeah, it's a posh one. It's a posh one, just for you. Just for you. down Well, I think really with Aria, she wants to have them. See, like this wooden thing back here. Um, she was like hiding under there earlier. So I think she thinks that's where she wants them. Like Jude wanted to have them under the coffee table. Um, but yeah, this welping box. And it's so sturdy. And because it's PVC, I think it's PVC they call it. It's really easy to clean and wipe down. Oh, cool. Yeah, donations are the best, aren't they? You can't beat donations, even if they're naughty. You're not naughty, though, you sweetheart. You're a good girl. No, no, no. Stay inside. Stay inside. I know. I know his body. I know. I know, girl. Oh, you, you've got to stay inside, though, okay? You can catch, but you've got to stay inside. You've got to stay inside. Yeah. I know he's getting bad. I know he's getting dense. I know. I know, baby. 
I know, sweetheart. I know, sweetheart. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, it is. Like, it was expensive and obviously the postage was quite crazy on it as well. Um, but yeah, it's such good quality. Have you um, watched the live action recently and seen how much Pongo looks like Dudley or Dudley looks like Pongo? Mm. Dudley is like Pongo's double. Yes, it's a yes. And um, if you ever put the live action in particular on for the dogs, the Dalmatians, they love it and they sit and watch the whole thing. Don't they, Joe Death? Yes. Good girl, are you? Are you gonna have booty for babies? Are you gonna have booty for babies? You packed it. I know. Um, I know one, but it was like one of the puppies that you'd never know or see it. Cause it was just one of many um oh my god i've actually seen one with that though with the patch on the tail it's unbelievable like dipstick mind you there's a puppy for sale now and it's got the perfect patch like patch has from the cartoon version i'm like oh my god you know like miss heart was a perfect heart this is perfect patch just a ring around the eye, so symmetrical, it is amazing. Oh, you're giving Arya kisses, Jude. She might not want your attention though, baby. Yeah. She says, but she does, mommy. I look after my niece. Yes. Yes, she's your niece, isn't she, Judith? Yeah. Do you know what? Like, it's up there for me, but my favourite film is Lion King. And it has been from when I was tiny. And it just made it my dream that I was always going to, like, I wanted to go on safari. It's still my dream to... Um, see the wildebeest migration um that is on my bucket list but i don't know what the hell i'd do with all you spotty dogs and uh, nala would obviously have to come wouldn't she she would have to come on safari yes jude do you know what an attention seeker you are she's doing good i think it's getting a bit more intense now because she's um Panting, oh, it's Jude giving Aria kisses. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. And do you know what? Like as a kid, it didn't really get to me. I like, obviously I knew what it was and what had happened, but it didn't really get to me. And then as I got older, it gets to me more. Random, isn't it? But oh, don't go to sleep again. I don't think she will. Well, have you seen the picture of Nala with sunglasses on? You know, don't forget the sunglasses. And maybe a little khaki backpack, is it? <laughs> and do you know what? Nala would be totally cool with going on safari. Like, it wouldn't phase her or bother her, the animals. She'd be quite curious about some of them. Yeah, she was a good auntie with Jude's litter. Well, and Disney's litter before that. Oh. Is something happening? <laughs> oh, <love. laughs> oh, she's 
so funny. Yeah, if it's the same one, they have it as like the first picture on the advert for you to click on it, like, because it is the most perfect patch ever. I am as well because it's been a while hasn't it since we've had it And you know what, from like content creation, having a litter of puppies is so easy because they are, they could have several daily videos if I was up for that because there's so much. Yeah, they're just lush and they're busy, they're funny, they're playful, they're cheeky, they're naughty, they're... They're everything puppies should be. And then I'd almost feel like a bit, you know, don't forget the older dogs because, you know, they have so much content normally centered around them that I feel like they miss out. Like, not that they really care, I mean, they're dogs, but yeah, I feel, but I think with the member section, I'll keep a little bit more of the regular content of the others and training sessions um, on them. Um, the plan is that Louise will test them um, just because I don't want to be um, accused of false results. But looking at the sort of time they'd be ready to be beta tested, it'd be either very close to Christmas or just after Christmas. Um, so I was <coughs> thinking of suggesting, and she might well be watching or might see this later, but um, to FaceTime while I test so she can see the results um, that I'm testing and the puppy I'm testing right in front of her and then I'll send her all the graphs as soon as I'm done testing the litter so that like no it's all legit um and then like I know I can't be accused of um sort of fake or false results um and it saves Louise a massive um, trek because like she lives you know, about five hours away from here so that's just 10 hours of driving just here and back and knowing Louise she'll find another appointment or two on the way to make the, the journey worth it um, but yeah with the time of year it'll be happening and if there's no other litters on the way um, yeah, the plan was always that Louise would test my litters, just so everybody knows everything's as it should be. Or at least I can't be accused of things not being as it should be.
He was such a weird shape. What's that lump back there? Look at that big lump of a puppy over there. He was huge. Oh, Raven. And now, now Lani. Lan, shush. Oh, it's like rock solid. It's no, no good in it. Lannister! Enough! Pests on the area. <laughs> so, me being quite nerdy as well, I've been um, researching like different programs of raising puppies so I did quite a lot of um, puppy culture the last few litters and I'm still going to implement a lot of that um, but then there's another one I found called Badass Breeder so I've um, been reading up on a lot of what they do as well and I've read up on Avi Dog which was when I had the litter Ari was in the musicals litter um and i just always want to learn more so i just feel like the more i can research the better and the more i can learn the better Marla, you are off your head Yeah, we are. Um, so, yeah, we're open to. Yeah, we're open to export. Um, Aria, you better not be going behind that table. Aria, come on. Come on, you know you should be in there. Aria! Aria, come! I mean, the socialisation for therapy dog training starts immediately. Oh yeah, Germany's not bad, is it? Um, so they've got to be old enough to have had, I wonder if they need rabies to go out to Germany. I know coming from any other country, they need to have had their rabies to come into the UK, which means they've got to be 12 weeks old to have had rabies. Um, and then 
it's like three weeks after they've had rabies they can transport um and then they gotta have had their normal vaccinations and a vet check um so yeah Oh yeah, Ireland's not bad. Like people go um to Ireland to show the dogs. So um yeah, it's just a bit of a journey and a ferry trip, a bit of a car journey. Um I don't know what the import rules are to Ireland, whether they they're the same or whether you come under the same banner as like the UK. Anyway something to look into um you know Lani came from Serbia which was a <laughs> mammoth trip <laughs> for him um and you can tell by him that he was you know well raised he was well socialized you know he's not frightened by cars noises meeting mm -hmm. other dogs like he's confident with all of that um and I do the same while the puppies with mm -hmm. me i'd carry on you know with house training with socializing and stuff until they're ready to leave um but yeah we are open to it um and then it depends on obviously so lani came by road um which is probably what you do to Germany, either via you come in and doing the drive or uh, booking a transporter. Booking a transport is probably easier. But they came via the Euro tunnel, and then once you're on mainland Europe, you can just drive anyway, really, can't you? Um, but yeah, for the island one, if you're... You could have a transporter to Ireland. That wouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, Lani came by road. Um, yeah, and to be honest, it is one of those things you need to look at it really close to the time it's going to happen because the rules will change and then you want to be well read on what they need and what age they need to be. Um, so, you know, you don't mess it up and get it wrong because I've heard of dogs literally being transported by plane to the US and when they get there, they haven't got the right documentation and then they go, they've got to go back in a plane and go back to the whatever European country they came from. Um, Yeah, and I mean, like, rescue has its place, but having a dog from young, from a breeder that you trust, from a breeder that you can see how the puppies are raised and how their own dogs are and how their own dogs are raised, and you really kind of know what you're getting. Um, with rescue, you don't always know what you're getting, and... You know the whole movement in america of adopt don't shop well that's well and good but if your puppies come from a good breeder they won't end up in rescue anyway you know we have in our puppy contracts if ever you can't look after the dog we will take them back no questions asked doesn't matter what age the dog is we'll have them back um so we'd never be contributing to rescues or their problems or their busyness or anything so yeah definitely and you know you're not undoing other people's problems um, you know, we've got messages from puppy owners and it was like the puppy's first bonfire night a couple of days ago and the puppies are 
completely not bothered with fireworks and I'm like yeah that's good because we do noise desensitization and stuff um and like all of my lot they were out there watching the fireworks quite interested in what they were no I mean having dogs as a child while it's lovely and good that you were born and raised around a dog actually owning your own and training your own being responsible for your own is a different experience Yeah, and to be fair, if you have enough room and enough time for two dogs, there's nothing to say you couldn't have one of each at rescue and from a breeder. Um, but or there's nothing to say you couldn't offer your time and volunteer at a rescue but still own your own dog that didn't come from rescue. Like, there's always options. Um there's always things you could do. Um, you know, like we did, we walked Penavan um, a few weeks ago and we did that as a fundraiser for British Dalmatian Welfare. So just because you're not, you know, adopting a dog doesn't mean you can't help rescues. Yeah, different breeds require different training if you think of like a herd in breed, then yeah, having a spotted pet is the best. Um, but yeah, if you've got like a herd in breed, then their instincts and their drives are going to be different to say a Dalmatian. Um, you know, all dogs are predators, no matter what they're bred for. So they all have a prey drive to some extent. Some it's easy to train the prey drive out of them. Some you barely need to train it out of them. They just listen. Others is so hardwired. Um, so yeah, different breeds need different training. But I think it's more like the general basic training to be a canine good citizen. That's the same whether you've got a Chihuahua or a Great Dane or a Dalmatian or a Border Collie, you know, not pulling on lead, reliable recall, not push, pushing through doors, a sit, stay, down, stay, stand, stay. Um, you know, that is basic for all dogs. Um, and to be honest, it's like the boring stuff to train. I love trick. I love trick training. Absolutely love it. I love carriage dog training, but they do still need the basics. So mix it up is what I'd say. Do a little bit of both, so you sort of satisfy your own need for a bit of entertainment as well as training the basics. If any, how she's intense, and then. She's sleeping and then intense and then she's sleeping. I think I might pause the live here and then I'll restart it when she picks up again. Um, Raven's obviously playing the line. Yeah, and like that's You know, that's something that is quite specific to where you live, that training, isn't it, Nat? But, yeah, I love training. I love, yeah, like, the intense work for Pod's voice advert. And then get in there, on set, on stage, with the voice chairs turning and getting him to perform. And, it, and he did it instantly. And it was like, yes, all the training was worth it. And it was such a random thing.
Yeah, well, I might jinx it. Normally, they wait till we order dominoes to start. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's important and taking them to town and um, winter markets and... Yeah, that's an issue in the UK as well as scared dogs. Nervous dogs. Yeah, see you soon. Like, she's definitely getting there, but I figure while she's sleeping, I'll go on my phone and do a bit of checking emails and all that jazz. Um, yeah, it's cool seeing Pod, isn't it? Yeah, he's a cool dog, to be fair to him, as much as he's a dork. But yeah, I shall see you soon when she's waking up and getting a bit busier. So yeah, bye.